As many of you already know, I am all about ergonomics in the workspace and today I want to show you the perfect ergonomic chair for digital artists like you and I, which is very important if you spend hours and hours a day drawing at a tablet, at a desk, and you get very sore backs, especially like I used to do. Not anymore, thanks to the chair that I am sitting on right here. Stay tuned for more. Okay, I really want to show you this chair, but first of all I want to tell you about the five reasons I decided this is the perfect ergonomic chair for digital artists like you and I. Okay, so number one, I really need to get close to my desk in order to draw a tablet, in order to just work at my desk generally. Some of the ergonomic chairs that I discovered on my voyage of researching an ergonomic chair, yeah, some of them just weren't good enough, but this one, the Harg Capisco, is absolutely perfect for digital artists in that respect. As you can see, I can get perfectly, perfectly close to my desk, which is exactly what I needed. As you can see here, some of these others just don't fit the bill. Some of them, yeah, they have arms, they have other bits, other pieces that don't allow you to get close enough to your desk. Uh, frankly, some of them are just a bit oddly shaped as well. So, I have to scrap those and move on to my second point. I need a chair that doesn't hog space in the studio. Some of these other chairs as well, quite frankly, they're too big. They're too massive. You look at my studio, it's pretty average in size for a studio. But some of those chairs are absolutely massive. So I need something that can go quite small as well as reasonably large enough to accommodate a pretty average sized guy like myself. I'm six foot. So I need something that is comfortable enough in size but doesn't take up too much room. This chair pretty much fits the bill. You can see how large it is here. It's quite tall, works really well. However, a simple lever, the back comes really low. I can get up. And even the arms go completely under my desk. This desk is actually quite low. If I measure my desk, my desk is only 66 centimeters or 26 inches clearance. And the chair only fits seven inches clearance, which means when I want to stand up and work at my desk, the chair doesn't bother me at all or I can move it away from the desk altogether. That means it doesn't bother me, it's not in the way, and it leaves my studio completely open. If anyone's working around me, if I have children in the room, absolutely great. Point three, from time to time, you wanna be lazy. You know you do. We all love the idea of ergonomics, but there are some people out there, and I've heard stories, you know, you buy a sit-stand desk, but, yeah, after about two or three weeks, there are a lot of people who have abandoned the idea. Ergonomic seats sound great, but a lot of them are stools. And, yeah, they seem a little crazy. You know you, well, I, quite frankly, are never going to use them for more than five minutes. So, point three is the idea that I want to be lazy from time to time. I want to be able to sit back, and many of them just don't have backs. So I put in this idea that I know I'm going to be lazy. So why not just go with that? This chair has a back. It has these armrests that are absolutely great. <sighs> yeah, so let's see how far I can lean back. It has this. This is the underneath. And with this lever, 
I can slide forwards and back. So if I slide this forwards, I can go up or down obviously, as I showed you before. There are some versions of this chair that are a lot taller. I went with this one because I have a low desk. And I can pull this lever here and that allows me to unlock the chair to lean back. I can lock this off if I want to keep the chair leaning back. But then I can pull this and there you go. Ah, ultimate comfort. So when I'm doing a bit of editing or just same with my tablet, yeah, I put my feet on the desk and just work. Absolutely great. Thumbs up. I've got my lazy chair. So, number four on my list. I want a chair that I can sit forwards in. That sounds pretty straightforward, right? <laughs> right, yeah, most of us lean forwards every day while we draw on our tablets. Yeah, and that's why we end up with sore backs, bad posture. You can't really lean backwards and have a supported back while drawing. Even if you try, you end up leaning forwards anyway. You need to be looking at eye level while drawing, while using a monitor, and yeah, it's kind of hard. I need a good ergonomic, you know, support while drawing on my tablet. And I found it was really hard to find while researching an ergonomic seat until I came across this, the Hag Capisco. Remember that name. Look at that. It's like a big hand supporting me. That's why the back of this chair looks so strange in a way. That's why the arms are just here on the back of the chair. That's why we have these cut out sections here. That's why the back of the chair moves up and down to support your size. That's why the bottom of the chair slides backwards and forwards to kind of find the most comfortable position for your bum. That's why the chair is designed this way. So you can sit with the chair supporting your chest. So when you lean forwards, you saw it. I can sit here all day drawing whilst leaning forwards and feel totally supported. And that's absolutely great. Now, there is an added way of sitting. The whole reason this chair is designed is so you can find different ways of sitting. Now, this for me, number four on my list, is the main reason I've picked this chair as the ultimate ergonomic chair for digital artists. But another great way of sitting, I didn't kind of believe this when I picked this chair, but another great way of sitting is like this. Yep, and I'm still leaning forwards. I'm kind of tucked in a bit. I sat like this for about 15 minutes the other day. And I'm still leaning forwards. I can still get into my tablet and I can still draw. And yeah, it's kind of different, but yeah, it is totally comfortable. Um, <laughs> I think those who are a bit slimmer than me might take a little more advantage of this, but yeah, I, I, mean, I am actually totally comfortable. This is metal inside, so don't worry about that. But number four, well and truly ticked off my list. Totally happy. Boom. Number five, quality and style. I don't care how I should cut it. This chair, this chair, the Hug Pisco by Hug, really screams quality and style, really. Number five, ticked off the list. The company made chairs for Star Trek. And yeah, I mean that as a giant sci-fi and uh, fantasy geek, 
I love that idea to bits that I'm sitting on a chair that was designed by the company that designed Star Trek chairs. I mean, how awesome is that? They've been making this chair since the 80s with very little need for revision. They've been making ergonomic chairs now for over 40 years. They've been making chairs since the 1940s. They started off making school chairs, you know, which have to be ergonomic since the 1940s. Um, you know, so they know what they're doing. You've got to trust these people. I think that's absolutely great. And yeah, this chair is made of a Norwegian wool, specially chosen because of its durability. This one I've been using for three months now and it still looks like it did. The day that I plucked it out of its box, it's really, really held up well. So I'm totally, totally happy with this. You know, check it out yourself. It comes in many different colours, the varieties, everything. I love it to bits. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out the feet on this thing. The feet look great. It comes in white, it comes in different colours as well. You know, I've chosen white because my desk, a lot of other items in my studio are white. You know, I love that clean look. It makes me feel fresh. It makes me feel open. It helps my studio feel bigger. I love all of that. So the nice white colour, love it to bits. And that's number five, kind of ticked off my list. So yeah, all those things, completely happy with. Five items on my list, all ticked off, completely happy with. And that's why this is the most ergonomic chair for digital artists. You know, it's not just about style, but this for me, number four, like I said, I can lean forwards, I can sit, I can draw up my tablet. My back has never felt more comfortable. I've been using this for three months, as I said, and yeah, you know, this isn't just a first day review. This is three months down the line. I totally feel better for using this chair, and that's why this is the best ergonomic chair for digital artists. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. I've got more ergonomic videos coming. I've got more videos coming on this very chair. You know, I'm going to do a speed view so you can watch me using this chair over time and see how I use this chair. You know, how I move about in this chair. Um, I've got more ergonomic videos of other things like my Ergotron arms, of my setup. I'm going to be changing my setup a little bit. You know, um, in the background on this video, you've seen a few wires here and there, a few ugly little bits. I'm going to be changing all of that, changing my setup a little bit, just to make my studio a bit nicer. And uh, yeah, hopefully stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, keep an eye open for that. More coming soon as possible. Hopefully, let me know what you think in the comments below about all of that, about this chair, about everything I try and respond to all of my comments all of your comments so yeah keep chatting to me I'll see you on Twitter on all social media stay tuned and I'll see you very 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 soon stay happy and stay comfortable well thanks for watching be sure to comment like and even subscribe to my channel Lawrence Can Draw. And if you really did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website, lawrenceman.co.uk. I'll see you next time.